in this data world, understanding the data, finding relevant patterns, and gaining the insights from the data is very much essential for the business users in the corporate world. By this, they can understand their business, they can take the decision, and they can see the competition in the market. Hello everyone, I'm a trainer of Uplets. For more information on Uplets, please find the website address mentioned in the presentation. And today's agenda of the session is Microsoft's data visualization tool, Power BI, Power Business Intelligence. And we will see what are the table of content present. The table of content tells what are the topics present in our session today. They are follows as it, as it has shown here. What is Power BI? Process flow of Power BI. Why Power BI? History of Power BI. Features, components, architecture, and who are the users who use Power BI? What are the various users they use Power BI? Let's start our session by understanding what is Power BI? Power BI is a data visualization tool and it is used for connecting to a various data sources. As we know, data source is a data which is born in any of the platform or any of the sources. Suppose we are accessing a database means then we are going to find out the data which we want to import or access from the database for our analysis purpose. And in database, again, we know we can connect to different types of databases which are available in the market, like MySQL, Oracle database, Sybase, MongoDB, etc. And even the data sources will be in the form of a text file, CSV file, a .xls files, or we can call it as a Microsoft Excel files. These are also types of data source, which we use for analysis purpose in the data visualization tools like Power BI. We have to connect to these data sources first. That is, we have to import the data source onto the Power BI and then we have to perform the analysis. And Power BI here, it is a cloud-based business analysis and intelligence service and it is provided by the Microsoft. And it collectively provides the business intelligence and data visualization capabilities such as a software services, applications, and a data connectors, different types of data connectors. And we can use the data sets imported in the Power BI for the visualization and the analysis purpose after analysis, that analysis will be result in the form of reports which can be shareable to the business users. And it can also be the dashboards and applications which are shared to the end users. These end users may be the business users which are who are rely on these reports for knowing the insights of their business. And the Power BI it is a very user-friendly tool which offers impressive drag and drop features and self-service capabilities. 
I will understand this self-service capabilities once we start exploring this tool practically. And the Microsoft, it offers a three types of Power BI platforms. The business intelligence and the data visualization services are provided and they are categorized into three types of business intelligence platform where we can perform data visualization and then analysis. They are Power BI desktop, which is a desktop application. Power BI service, which is a service as software as a service cloud-based platform and the Power BI mobile. And it is mainly used for iOS and then Android users. And the Power BI reports which are developed and they will be compatible in this iOS and then Android devices. And the users can even view their reports in mobile devices also. And we can deploy Power BI on the both on-premise and then on-cloud platform. In enterprise levels also, we can deploy the Power BI infrastructure and as well as we can get the service from the cloud platforms. And the main report development, the dashboards and applications will be de developed in the Power BI desktop, which is a Power BI application. And once these reports, dashboards and the applications are developed in the Power BI desktop, they are shareable or they are shared with the users, business users with the help of the service provided by the Microsoft that is called as a Power BI service. And it is a cloud platform. And here they are using the cloud platform that is a software as a service. And the mobile user, as we know, the Android and the iOS users are present in the market and they can view their reports in the mobile with the help of a Power Mobile, Power BI mobile platform. Let's see, we're talking about the Power BI data visualization tool. To explore more about the Power BI capabilities, we have to understand what is the process flow of the Power BI? How the process takes place in the Power BI? When we start preparing any report, what is the cycle that a particular report follows which comes under the process of report development. So the process flow of the Power BI contains the collection of data sources. As we have known, as we are living in this digital era, everything is computerized in every area in the world. If we take any sector or any domain in the world, everything is computerized nowadays in the world and huge volume of data will be generated from the web sources or from the World Wide Web, World Wide web or the websites. And even the organizations will be having their own databases for storing the data of their company, which is very confidential. So here, the data sources may be the databases or the flat files or the CSV files. And for analyzing the data, we are using Power BI desktop. From the Power BI desktop, we are going to import. That means we are going to connect to the data source, what we are using. From the data source, we are going to import the tables or the files into the Power BI desktop. And then we are going to prepare 
we are going to prepare the data for the analysis. Preparation is cleaning the data, cleansing. We are performing the cleansing operation on the data. Sometimes the data source, what we are using or the data, what we are ex extracting from the databases will contain the blank spaces, null values, or the unused or unnecessary columns and then records in the table. So we will remove the unnecessary columns and rows and the blank spaces with the help of the features which are provided in the Power BI. And then the data is ready for the analysis. The data which is present in the table or the text files will be ready for the analysis. And it is analyzed with the help of the graphs, charts provided in the Power BI desktop environment. Once the data is analyzed with the help of a proper charts and graphs, then the report will be ready and that report has to be deployed in a platform where end users or the business users can access it for gaining the insights or for understanding their business data, they can use it. So here, the Microsoft provides the Power BI service platform where we can share our reports, dashboards and applications and which is available to the end users or the business users where they can view their visualizations in order to take the business decisions or to find the relevant patterns which matches their business. And here, the organization or the data or organization or the company's data will be protected, will be secure with the help of a Power BI gateway. Power BI gateway provides the security for the organization's data. Once we set up the Power BI service platform, once we try to access or once we gain the access of the Power BI service, then the security for the data will be provided with the help of a Power BI gateway. For this access, we have to pay the cost, which will be mentioned by the Microsoft. Compared to other business intelligence or the data visualization tool, Power BI offers very less amount for their users, very less cost for their users. Initially, if we are working in an organization, if we are enrolling for the Power BI services with our company's ID, then initial two months will be provided as a free for sharing our Power BI reports, dashboards or applications into the Power BI service. And then once the reports are shared in the Power BI service, they will be protected with the help of the Power BI gateway. And then that Power BI, then, then from the Power BI services, we have the access to view the reports, dashboards, and then applications which are developed in the Power BI desktop and shared in the Power BI services. There are many tools in the market there are many business intelligence and data visualization tools available in the market. But why I have to go for Power BI? There is a company called Gartner Magic, Gartner's company. In the Gartner's, Gartner's quadrant, Power BI having its own value. Power BI falls in the good rank by this, we can understand that Power BI is a good data visualization tool and it is having, it provides good analysis capabilities for the users for preparing the reports. 
and more moreover it is a cloud based business intelligence service having that is called as a power bi services and it can be used for viewing the reports and sharing the dashboards and a desktop based reporting interface known as a power bi desktop where we can develop our reports and it is providing another useful service also that is power bi embedded and uh, it runs on the azure cloud platform and we can use this for the creation of the report and performing etl and then data analysis etl the term etl acronym etl stands for extract transform and load it is a data mining process where we are trying to find out the nuggets from the unstructured data initially data present in the databases will be present in the raw format it is in the unstructured format we have to structure the data for preparing for for doing the analysis for that purpose we are going to use the steps involved in the data mining technique data mining that is extract we have to extract the data from the databases or in the organization they will use data warehouses and then it is transformed to the structured format which can be used for analysis purpose and then it is loaded on to the devices where data visualization tools have the access to this data for example in a simple words suppose we are accessing the data from the multiple sources in one source they have given the data in month date they have given the date in month date and then year format and in another source they have given the date in year month and then day we cannot use different date format when we are trying to combine multiple data sources into a single data source so here we are going to transform that date field into the standard field which matches our business user requirement and then we will load that data source on to the data visualization tool or we can import that data source on to the data visualization tool and then we are going to perform the analysis which is required to achieve our goal and again there are some important points and why we are going to use power bi in today's time and why we need it exactly and in the real time analysis we can use the power bi for establishing the direct connections to the data sources and it also keeps the data updated in a seconds in a fraction of seconds it will refresh us the data what we are dealing with and even we can use the custom visualization gallery custom visuals which are divided into many options and categories uh when we access power bi desktop when we try to analyze data in the power bi desktop we will analyze in the form of charts and graphs so power bi provides rich visualization rich set of visualization for the users to play around with the data with the help of the charts and the, with the help of charts and then graphs apart from this if we are looking for any other chart or the graph which is not present in the gallery then we can go for the custom visuals gallery from there we can import the visualization which we want to use in our report or dashboard or in the applications and even we can quickly search for the important insights 
and data sets within our data using the quick insights option which is present in the power bi desktop and even we can establish a live or the non-live connection to on-premises data sources like sql server and uh, use a secure channel to access data through the data gateways in the enterprise level most of the enterprises they will use servers that is database servers where they are going to keep their where they are going to store their company's data and we can use we can establish a live as well as non-live connection for those database servers also that is it is an on-premise infrastructure where the database servers of the companies will be present which will be residing inside the enterprises in the organization for that we can establish a live and then a non-live connection for example we can take an example of sql server and also we can secure the channel for the access with the help of the data gateways and we are going to use this for the technology scalable and then a real reliable purpose by this we can make sure that our connections and the access to the organization database is reliable and we can connect to other services with the help of power bi such as sql server analysis ssas in microsoft excel and apart from this even we have privilege to connect to other services with the help of power bi that is sql server analysis services uh, microsoft again it is providing a one more package that is uh, we call it as a msbi package that microsoft business intelligence package which is a combination of a different tool by this package by using this package we can perform etl operation as well as we can publish the reports also in that package one of the tool is ssas that is analysis services sql server analysis services which can be used for analyzing the data and as well as other tools includes reporting services and structured query language for developing the queries for writing the queries it is used and then ssis integration services which is used for etl purposes it is a etl tool like this analysis service is also one of the tool which is present in the msbi package that is in the microsoft business intelligence package and even the power bi it's like a new age software which uses the latest technologies like such as html 5.0 and column store databases cloud computing mobile apps etc and it and it helps in keeping the power bi on the top and popular it is constantly getting updated with the latest feature because of all these features uh, Power BI has its own value in the market and it stands different from other data visualization tools like the HTML is HTML 5.0 is supported by the Power BI uh, as well as column store databases and then cloud computing capabilities are provided in the Power BI. Now we will dwell about history of power bi how this power bi the famous data visualization tool has born and who invented this tool as we know as we have discussed you know it is a microsoft's product suit and it is initially released on the 11th of july 2001 
and it was originally uh, designed and created by Ron George in the year of 2010. First, it was released by the name called Project Crescent. And later in the September of 2013, the company that is Microsoft changed its name from Project Crescent to Power BI and it launched it for the public. And this release was a Power BI for 365, Power BI for Office 365. And it has having the Microsoft Excel add-ins. The add-ins includes like a Power Pivot, Power View, Power Query in it. And in the upcoming versions, the Microsoft added the advanced features like natural language, Q and A, question and answer, enterprise level data security and connectivity, and the power data gateways, etc. As the market evolved with respect to the market they started adding the new features to the existing power bi versions like uh, they have added the uh, natural language question and answer which is one of the beautiful feature if you are if we are typing a relevant keyword in the dialog box provided in the screen then we will get the visualization with respect to our query where user feel more comfortable in accessing the data or gaining the insight and the enterprise data level security as we know like providing the data gateways and then etc and the first public general release was happened in the year of uh, 2015 july 24th and as of now, 2019, the Power BI has been officially, uh, it is declared as one of the leading business intelligence tool by 2019 Gartner uh, Magic Quadrant for the analytics and uh, business intelligence platform. Let's see what are the main features of the Power BI. And there are some of the most important and very interesting features present in the Power BI. Like we can create, we have the rich visualization. Apart from that, even we can, we have the access to the custom visualization. If we are looking for more into the visualization and then connectors, different types of data connectors, data sources, we have access and then data sets, dashboards, filters, like immediate analysis, we can use ad hoc analysis and uh, reports or ad hoc reporting indicators, which states the trend, what kind of trend, how we can indicate those trend indicators. And it provides the online analytical processing capability and the navigation pane, natural language, question and answer box DAX functions and formula, Office 365, App Lantern, Content Packs, Authoring, Interactive Reports. And these are the, some of the features which are provided by the Power BI desktop. So here, knowing the DAX functions and formula is very essential for creating the custom columns, that is the new columns in the Power BI desktop. That is data, DAX stands for data analysis expression where the power bi desktop user creates new column by writing the expression by writing the formulas now we will see what are the important components of the power bi desktop in the Power BI, it's a, as we know, it is a business intelligence and uh, it is used for data mining software, which is a collection of different kinds of services by the Microsoft. And these services play a specific role and uh, work in coordination with the, each other to make the Power BI function as a whole. In this section of the Power BI tutorial, we will learn about each of these Power BI services or the components and their roles. We can understand what are the different categories of 
components which work together provides data analysis and then business data analysis and intelligence services provided let's see how these components are categorized and how they contribute to the intelligence and then data visualization services we will understand with the help of a diagram power query power pivot power view power map these are the important components we use uh, power query for service to access and it is used for search and transform the data from public or local inter internal data sources why we use power queries we use this service to access search and transform the data from public or local internal data sources and then power pivot it provides tools to model the data taken from the in memory data sources to use it for the analytics in memory data means the memory which is present in the power bi desktop which is local to the tool which is local to the desktop from where we are going to access the data and we will model that data according to our requirement we may transpose the rows into column or columns into row which can be performed with the help of a power pivot component and the power view it has many tools it graphically represents the data using visuals and use them for the analysis for graphically representing the data and using the visuals we use power view and then power map as we know when we want to deal with the geographical data we use a power map and it comes with the tools and capabilities to visualize a geospatial data or information in the 3d model in a map and we can use these maps in the power bi report geospatial or the geographical data can be represented in the form of a 3d model 3d model map by using the power map component power bi desktop as we have discussed already why we are using the power bi desktop and it is a development tool like we can call it as a companion for power view power query and then power pivot and we can import the data from a data source and we can prepare transform it and using visualization to create the reports in the power bi desktop and website power bi website we use the power bi web platform for reviewing and sharing the power bi applications or the solutions even we can create dashboards from the reports share the dashboards with other power bi users and slice and dice the data within a report slice and dice means trying to see the data from different perspective power service where we can share our workbooks and data views with our other users and data gets refreshed at a regular intervals of times from the on premise or the on cloud data sources so that business users can see the updated information real time information question and answer it's a we can search the data or we can discover the insights by entering the queries in the natural language where user feel more comfortable in interacting with the data and it and instantly understands our query and returns the relevant results and the mobile apps power bi mobile apps where users view and interact with the reports and dashboards published on a cloud service and it is hosted hosted by power bi instances like android users or the windows and ios mobile devices support the power bi mobile apps and the data catalog and it offers the capability to search and reuse the 
query. If the if we want to write any query means we can see what are the frequent queries which are used and if it matches with our query then we can use that query for gaining the insight. It will be provided by the data catalog. And the data management gateway. The component manages the periodic data refreshes and data query reviewing and table exposing. Let's see how the architecture of the Power BI is present and what we can see in the architecture and how it is categorized, Power BI architecture. It is divided into three phases. In the diagram, we can clearly see Power BI data architecture is divided into three categories. First one is the data preparation, visualization, and then business users. Let's see how we can understand the architecture of the Power BI. Data integration. We can import the data from the different kind of data sources as we know. And these data sources may be in the different form. And uh, Power BI helps us to bring the data together, what we are extracted from the different data sources and uh, it will bring it to the standard format which meets the client's requirement. And once the data is integrated, that is once the data is in integrated from the multiple sources and it is made, made it as a single source of a data, then it is stored on a common storage area known as a staging area. In the staging area, we are going to store it. That is, the staging area contains the data which is in the structured format. And now it is ready for processing. That structured format, structured formatted data is ready for the processing. And uh, after integration, the data stores data at secure place. And uh, again, here the raw data requires some processing. After performing several processing or cleaning operations, we are going to transform the raw data, such as like removing the redundant values. That is one of the type of operation we are going to perform on the data, in the data processing technique and we will apply relevant business rules on the process data that transform it into according to our business needs. And uh, the transform data, again, it is loaded onto the data warehouses. This completes the complete entire ETL process that is extract, load, extract, transform, and then load. First, we are pulling the data from the multiple data sources and then it is brought into or it is converted into a standard format and then it is stored in a common storage area we call it as a staging area and then the data is ready for the processing there we will apply several processing or the cleaning operations for transforming our raw data that is raw data is nothing but a data which is not present in the expected format which is present in the unstructured format and there we will remove some redundant values or like null values spaces or any other noises or erroneous data we will remove it and then we will apply the business rules on the processed data that transform it according to our business needs and now it is ready. Data is ready for the analysis after the data processing step. And then the data is loaded onto the data warehouses. And it completes the entire extract transformation and then load cycle. So here data warehouse are very important, which is a collection of multiple data sources it is a collection, data warehouse is a collection of multiple databases where huge volume of data will be stored. 
uh, in the data warehouses it stores the historical data and as well as periodical data will be present in the data warehouses and it, data warehouse it's a really a very vast concepts of huge organizations big organizations they will use data warehouses again if the big companies they will be having many branches in the across the world or across the country then they will manage their data with the help of a data mart where data mart is a it's a sub unit it's a sub unit of the data warehouse or we can call it as a part of data warehouse now the data is ready for the presentation in the final phase the processed data moves from the data warehouse and goes into the power bi platforms like power bi desktop where we can create our reports dashboards and then a scorecards scorecards give us a number which meets our requirement and power bi offers a wide range of visualizations as we know and we can also import custom visualization from the marketplace from the report development platforms we can publish the reports on the web or mobile apps to share it to our business users with the help of rich visualization we are going to prepare the reports these reports may these uh, may, we, we may prepare reports or the dashboards or the scorecards or even we can prepare the key performance indicators and if we are uh, looking for some other visualization we will import the visualization from the marketplace and we will prepare the reports and from the report development platforms we will publish the reports on to the web or it may be published on the mobile applications to share it with the business users now the question is who can use power bi what type of users can use the power bi power bi users are categorized into four types according to the purpose of the usage of power bi these four types of users are analysts business users it professionals and then developers analysts as we know analysts are the analysts are the people analysts are the employees who work hard for preparing the reports in the companies they mainly work on the analysis they they work on analyzing the data and analysts use power bi desktop for developing the reports dashboards and model the data and study them to discover the valuable insights which helps the company to make decisions or which helps the executives or cfos ctos present in the companies to make decisions or understand or find the relevant patterns in the data and it and power bi offers a wide range of data sources from which analysts can extract the data and make a common data set and cleanse it and prepare that data for making the reports and conducting the analysis and this is the role of the analyst in the power bi i mean how helpful power bi desktop to the analysts who works in the organization and the it professionals they are mainly concerned with the scalability and the availability and security of the data they also centrally manage all the power bi services and the users like professionals like admins administrators they worry about the scalability and uh, availability and security of the data present and uh, centrally they will centrally manage all the power bi services in the user who have the access to the power bi services for reading the reports developers and developers are responsible for the all the technical work and their key role are to create the custom visuals to be used in the power bi and embedding the power bi into the other applications creating reports etc for developers it is very helpful for creating the 
visualizations and uh, if the requirement is demanding for integration of uh, application inter application program interface or the api then they will embedding the power bi into other applications also with the help of the apis and for the involved in creating the reports so in this session we have understood the data visualization tool power bi which is a product of microsoft company we try to understand the use of power bi why we are using power bi in today's world and how power bi stands different from other business intelligence tools and what are the various platforms provided by the power bi it may be a power bi desktop power bi services mobile power bi and how the data will be processed what is the process flow in the power bi that we have understood and then what are the different components of the power bi we have seen and we have understood what are the components behind the power bi what are all the components that work together to provide business intelligence and then data visualization services to the data enthusiasts that's all for the day thank you